Hey everyone. So a couple days ago, I posted a video of Taylor, who is a dentist, brushing our little toddler girl's teeth, and we got an overwhelming response, a lot of questions. So we thought that it would be fun to make um, a dentist dad Q&A video. We're gonna start out the Q&A <laughs> with the bang, with a very sensitive topic. Well, fluoride. it doesn't have to be. Fluoride or no fluoride? Your choice. Short answer is your choice. <laughs> as a dentist, I'm pro fluoride. I know lots of people that aren't and I never push them. Uh, as a dentist, I've seen the benefits of fluoride, so we use fluoride. We use it also because it's not in our water. Correct. So, so we live in a city that does not fluoridate their water, so we even do supplemental fluoride. Well, that leads us to our next question, is what toothpaste do we use? So yeah, the one we use a lot, this is the one our kids really like, is the Burt's Bees for kids. And it does have fluoride in it, but our kids like the flavor of this one. It's not super foamy. Not spicy. The Yeah, it's not spicy as a lot of kids say. The biggest thing with toothpaste is just not overdoing it. A lot of them say pea size. You can even go down as little as a rice grain size amount especially for like your littles. You can go into the next question is, do they need to rinse? Our kids don't really rinse their mouths. They're not at an Well, and that's why you put a And so that's why, I, yep, exactly. They're saying like, is it okay if they swallow it? But that again goes with why you say just put. Yeah, so if you do a rice grain amount. Or a pea size. Even a pea size, even if they swallow, it's not gonna be enough. Even if it has fluoride in the toothpaste, it's not gonna be enough to harm your kid. Adult toothpaste usually has more fluoride. If they're using an adult toothpaste, I would avoid having them swallow it. So if they're old enough to spit, then that's fine. What toothbrushes for kids do you recommend? And whatever one works for your kids, like whatever. This is one that's been kind of a hot topic lately, uh, like on Amazon and stuff, it's pretty popular. It's this U-shaped one. The idea is you just put toothpaste all on the bottom and all on the top, and then you have them bite down and then you can kind of just scrub it back and forth. It's for those kids who bite down on the toothbrush and don't really let you brush your teeth. Yeah, so that was actually one of the questions. What do you do if your kid's a biter? This might be a good option. Our kids hate this toothbrush. So we, it's actually out in our play box. The one that our kids really gravitate towards because they see mom and dad use them are the, are like an electric toothbrush. Obviously you don't need to spend like 150 bucks for a kid's Where's electric the new toothbrush. One? It's right here. Um, so this is one we got taste in. Uh, our little girl Sawyer has fallen in love with it as well. Before she just used just a basic manual, non-electric, but now she really loves the electric one. So this actually just came in the mail. It's just on Amazon. We can put a link into it. They're pretty cheap. They come with replaceable heads. And we can link the toothpastes as well. And yeah. The other toothbrush. Oh yeah, that's if a good idea. Try it. But it's the idea that they see mom and dad use one. They kind of like the vibration. And so our kids handle this one a lot better. They're much more willing willing to let us get in, get in their mouth. They say kids do not have the actual dexterity to brush their own teeth until they're about seven or eight. So as they get older, they're obviously gonna get more independent. They're gonna wanna brush their own teeth. Find some sort of compromise. Maybe in the morning you let them brush their teeth, but at night you get to brush their teeth. Or they get a brush for 30 seconds and you get a brush for 30 seconds. What if they scream? What if your kid absolutely Absolutely yeah. hates getting their teeth brushed. So the method that we use where we lay them on the ground and then I kind of put my legs over their arms was taught to me by a pediatric, pediatric dentist. This method works for kids that like to get their teeth brushed, like her normally, and kids that don't, which is normally our son. This is a perfect example, because she does not want to. Yep. Okay, so I just lay them down. It sounds kind of rough because they're crying, but this is the best way. And I just make sure I just get every surface of each tooth. Good job, baby. I usually just do the vowels. So I say, okay, ah, uh, uh, e, uh, I, uh, o, uh, u, uh, I love uh, you. Okay, dad needs to brush your teeth first. Okay. Let's show him how a big boy gets it done. Okay. Okay, he's actually being a dream right now. <laughs> <laughs> he throws a fit every time. This is, I do the same thing with Sawyer this way, but this is how you can lock them down. So you lay them down, you spread their arms out and you kind of <laughs> put your legs over the top. And then that way he can't really get out. And then I usually, now that he's older, we count to 20. Say one. One. Count with me. Two. One. Dad. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I love you. I love you. So I try to scrub for at least 30 seconds. So between the counting from one to 10 and then I do the vowels, it works for us. Here's the thing though, our kids 
are happy about it, there's a line between their teeth being cleaned and them being mentally traumatized. Go with your gut. Yeah. If your kid is like upset about it and it's like, holy cow, this is like gonna scar them, don't do that. I have to say that for the one person that's gonna come at me. <laughs> Sometimes if they're throwing a big fit, just to you know, get in there for 10 seconds, I'll do it and the 10 seconds are done. When do you need to start brushing your baby's teeth? And if they don't have teeth, how do you recommend brushing their gums? They say see a dentist at one years old or first tooth. Really, you don't need to brush until they start having teeth because uh, that's what we're worried about is preventing cavities. Um, gums don't get cavities. But more just to start getting them in the habit the younger they are so that as they do get older and it's more vital to brush their teeth, they're already in that habit. Do they choke when you're laying them down? I feel like a lot of people were concerned that their kids are gonna choke on their spit or on the toothpaste in the laying down position. No, I mean, infants breastfeed or, you know, feed laying down. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope uh, this was somewhat useful. We'll see you guys next week. Toothbrush. Toothbrush. Yeah, is this your very own toothbrush? Dennis Dad Q&A, take one. <coughs> we today we have <laughs> our us. So we got I have the questions. Well I'm asking him like an interview. Tayson, should you get in here and we'll do a quick little thumbnail picture? Hurry Tayson, come here. Hurry, sit on my lap! Hurry, come here! Just do it. Come sit on my lap, baby. He says no. Drive your hold on, I'm so sorry. Can you drive your car up in the foyer? Or can you drive it downstairs on the slide or in my office? What's the situation here? Depending on where. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Come get over here, Sound Dad's lap for a picture, and I'll get you your own. First question from laughing because of our kids. This is 10 minutes in. Okay. First question. <laughs> oh, don't mark the widow head.